Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today here with your daily free picks. All right, so three picks for you guys today. Uh, let's get right into it today because the first pick is at 1 p.m. Uh, so I'm gonna have this up uh, about an hour and 20 minutes before the uh, first pitch. Uh, all the more reason, guys, if you haven't subscribed and turn on notifications so you don't miss this. I try to post all my videos the night before, but if I can't, um, then yeah, you end up with with this going about an hour or so before game time. So uh, first game, guys, we have Milwaukee and Chicago Cubs. So Milwaukee, Chicago Cubs have a couple nice indicators in this game, including if you guys remember from last year, our Wrigley Field under system. This game does fall into that system. And uh, that record overall is 180 wins and 109 losses. Good for 62%. So very, very strong. Now, this was probably close to being a two unit play, except for one factor. And that factor is CB Buckner behind the plate. Um, he's not a horrible under umpire, but he's certainly not a good under umpire. So uh, we're just gonna do a one unit play on that guys. We're gonna get that line, depending on your, on your book, you might have to move this line, but we're gonna go under 10 laying minus 120, okay? So we're going under 10 laying minus 120 in that game. All right, second game guys. This is a two unit play. So our first two unit play of this baseball season, guys, we're going back with the Toronto Blue Jays and Tampa Bay Rays. Um, right off the bat, guys, uh, there's been a few massive, massive bets on this game, like massive bets. Um, I do not know where yet, but um, I'm sure later on that will surface, but there's been some really, really, really big bets on this game. Uh, four system indicators. Right now, guys, the money distribution, there's only 41% of bets on the under in this game, but 89% of the money. So, I mean, that as well tells you there's some massive bets on the under in this game. The public, obviously, the majority of the bets on the over in this game, the public is on the under. This line right now is at eight and a half, um, but it's eight and a half even money. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna move it to nine. We're gonna go under nine. That just allows us a lot of extra variables and that, that extra half run does make a difference. And for that, all we have to do is pay minus 120. So we're definitely gonna do that, guys. It's a two unit play, Toronto, Tampa, we're going under nine, minus 120. All right, so uh, final game, guys. Kansas City, Cleveland. Um, we have a couple nice indicators in this game as well. And we have uh, a great system, um, and that is the under umpires in under parks. So if you guys, um, if you guys watched last year, you would definitely know uh, about under umpires because we, we talked about them a lot and we utilized them a lot. And um, there's so many different factors that you have to look at in baseball. And it's why betting baseball can be such a profitable sport. One of the factors you're always having to look at are the umpires. It's very hard to bet a game if you don't know who the umpires are. Um, and that, that goes for a couple reasons because not only they're under umpires, but there's home field umpires as well. And I mean, some people say, well, they don't think there's home field umpires or whatever. But if you look at the numbers over an extended period of time, like 10 plus years, patterns start to emerge. And it's no different when you look at umpires for calling balls and strikes. And that's why when you have an under umpire, an under umpire is typically an umpire uh, that's going to be a little more favorable to the pitchers. Give them those, those strikes on the corner. Um, make the borderline calls. When you have an over umpire, those are umpires that are typically um, much tighter strike zones. The batters can be more patient. They're getting more favorable counts to hit the ball with. So in this case, guys, um, we have Andy Fletcher, who is an under umpire. Uh, if you bet every single one of Andy Fletcher's games to go under, you'd be profitable. Okay, so um, that's without any other systems or anything. Now, we have, like I said, we have other indicators, but above and beyond that, guys, this is an under park as well, okay? So there's certain parks that um, they typically trend towards under. So when you have that combination, that strong combination of an under umpire and an under park, um, it's a profitable system. Guys. So I mean, betting Andy Fletcher to go under just on his own over the life of Andy Fletcher has been profitable you combine it with other systems, other indicators, and now you have a bet. 
So we are going to go KC and Cleveland to go under nine runs in that game. So just a quick recap for you guys. We have Milwaukee and the Cubs, Wrigley Field under. We are going under 10 at minus 120. We have Toronto Blue Jays, Tampa Bay Rays going under nine, minus 120. And we have Kansas City and we have Cleveland to go under nine. Thank you guys. We will be back tomorrow with another video. I'll try to post it later tonight if I can. And as always guys, have a very lucky day.